Now we're aboard the Gale Force, and we're going to be fishing very deep, see if we can get some really big lobsters. We're looking for lots of volume and lots of big lobsters, so let's see what happens. Okay guys, what we're doing now is Captain Joel here is finding his positions and we got a deckhand up on the bow with all the hoops and he's throwing them over. We're fishing in deep, deep water tonight. So uh, he's gonna get ready, he's gonna toss one over here. It's like deadliest catch with all the traps marked. You know, Okay, this is the first hoop net of the night, and this hoop net was down over 300 feet. And there's Catalina, you barely see the lights, there's a camp out there. So, this is James, we went to high school together, <laughs> and he was one of the dummies that signed up to come do this. Pull hoop, hop, lobster traps down 300 feet. Can't stop. Once you stop, once you, they stop, they jump right out. Yes. Oh yeah, I see color, there's color. Oh, there's lobsters in there, we got lobsters in there. I see lobsters. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, James, how'd it feel? Time. <laughs> this is your first two. Yeah. I only need five more. We're at uh, Catalina Island here fishing with Dan this evening, guys, for lobster. We got Bill here pulling. Uh, fishing relatively deep. He's got a lot of work here. He's, uh, he's getting there. He's within the last hundred feet or so. So stand by and see what he's got. Hopefully there's something in there. Wow. Nice, pretty healthy one. <laughs> Maurice is not having a fun time. <laughs> use your whole body. You gotta use your whole body. It's not just your arms, use your legs. Oh, lobsters, I hear them ticking. Oh, that's why it was so heavy. What? Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! No wonder it was so heavy. I think we should drop all of them right here. I don't know about all of them. I think you got okay. your limit on that one. To for a minute, Dan. We'll let it go. He got his limit in one drop. <laughs> All right. And thank God he got his limit in one drop because oh. <laughs> I'm not sure he can walk to the stern. This one feels heavier than the last one, so hopefully there's some lobsters in here. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's a nice empty sound. That's a whole limit. Seven lobsters, one hoop net, one drum. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action, show you how to cook up these beautiful lobsters. When we return, we'll be back here on the Gale Force of Catalina Island. Woo! This week in the galley, we're in West Los Angeles, right across here from the Improv on Melrose at the Red O restaurant. And standing next to me is the head chef here, Chef Anthony. Thanks for inviting us over, man. No worries, no worries. And Chef Anthony reached out to us. We put a post on our Facebook page looking for some chefs to do cooking segments for us. And he was kind enough to help us out. And what do you have in store for us, Chef? Today we're gonna to be doing our lobster dish that we have here at the restaurant. Um, we have a West Coast lobster. We're gonna bring it out. Um, First, because uh, the shell's nice and hard, right? So we want to pierce through the skin, crack it all the way down, flip it around, and we're going to do back the same thing. So you get two halves nice set there. 
We're gonna pull out the lobster from the shell. Okay, see that nice little color there? You can do that to both. And we're gonna hit it with olive oil and salt. So from here, we'll lay it down right onto the grill. Okay, so from here, we're gonna saute our uh, white Mexican rice with a uh, fennel broth that we make here in-house. In so it's basically water with fennel seed that we saute and a little bit of cilantro as well. Uh, we blend that together and create this broth. Now once, once we blend it together, we, we definitely strain it so uh, that the seeds are, aren't incorporated too much into the liquid. We went ahead and roasted a little while ago uh, fennel and uh, knob onions. So it's, knob onions are larger uh, Mexican onions that we use here in the restaurant. So once we get that nice and brown, uh, we let it sit aside, heat it up again right before we knock out the dish. While that's working, I'll go ahead and grab the lobster tail just because it's a little bit thicker. We'll go ahead and get them nice, these set here on the sizzle plates. As you can see, you get nice good grill marks on them. All right. Then from here, we'll go straight into the oven so they can finish and cook all the way through. Um, I know I said all the way through, but I, same with fish and lobster and seafood like that. We, we like to make sure that we still work with the medium consistency. You don't want to have dry lobster tails. You don't want to have dry uh, shrimp. It all goes hand in hand the same way you would cook a medium rare steak. We're going to pull out the lobster. Check the doneness. That looks nice. We're going to start off by building the plate with the rice, with the fennel broth. So there's a nice good layer of it right in the center of the plate. We're layering the lobster right onto the dish. Okay, got a nice good build right into the center. Then we'll go ahead and we'll layer our fennel and roasted onions around the dish. And then we finish it off with a tahini butter sauce. So basically it's a, a citrus butter sauce that we finish the dish off with. This is our purple watercress and our fennel fronds and our lime garlic dressing. Give it a good toss. Always, always season. Good toss together. And we finish it off right in the center of the dish. There you go. Sexy lobster and rice. All right, I gotta try this out. Looks so good. Mm. I always love lobster, but that sauce you had on um, that butter sauce, what exactly is in that? So we use tahini salt. So in Mexico, it's like a citrus, a citrus salt that they make. Um, so we get heavy cream and butter, combine them together, and then finish it off with the tahini salt on top. And I guess this is a signature just here at the Red O restaurant? Definitely is. Yeah, this is really good. Thank you, Chef Anthony. Thanks for coming by. It's really good. We're at the Red O restaurant on Malrose here in West LA. Beautiful dish. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. So we're in 300 feet of water. You got all of this rope down there, plus there's 10 pounds of lead in every hoop net because of the current. So it's a lot of weight to lift up from the bottom. Getting close now. Oh, one there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Three lobsters. That Three lobsters. All right. All right. Loopy's been with us on a lot of trips before, mainly calico bass fishing, yellowtail fishing. Are you going to come back lobster fishing? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, bye. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. You only need one more for a limit.
There you go, Luke. Turn the camera. Turn it down. Here's Loopy with his six lobsters. Congratulations, man. Thank you, Dad. Certainly one of the more popular animals that people like to see when they come to the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium are the California spiny lobster. You may notice that these don't have the big claws you find in the supermarket lobsters that people buy. These guys are uh, bottom feeders and they're kind of scavengers, uh, grabbing anything they can. During the night, these are more active predators. During the day, they're in their crevices amongst the rocks and hidden. <laughs> You're sweating. This is the fun part. You can't even talk. Don't worry, we have a nurse inside the galley with oxygen. Here you go. Oh! Oh! There we go. At least three. Yeah, that was good. Turn around. Turn around, turn around the camera. Okay. Get the crate. Stop Stop Oh! I think you're limited out. Hope so. Look at that. One pull, one limit, he's done. <laughs> I All hope right. so. One and done. Okay, we're gonna drop this trap right back in the same spot. This is Cynthia, she's out here for her first lobster hooping trip. And Oh, it's taking line off her hands. Yeah, you gotta tighten your drag now. <laughs> Hold on. Turn the other way. There you go. There you go. That's good. Just let it go again. Okay. It's empty. Oh, oh I hear him. Let go real quick. You hear them? Oh! 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 I said it was empty. I, was... <laughs> I thought you were gonna cry. I was. Is this another limit? There you go. Here's Cynthia, her very first time lobster fishing, and she got her limit in one hoop net. How's it feel? Awesome. All right, congratulations. Okay, hold on. All right. Three legals. Yeah. Three nice ones. One. Two. Three nice ones, man. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Nice job. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action here, and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Yep. Looks really good. Just lots and lots of lots. Just amazing. 